Dogs love cheese. It's a popular choice for training treats and it works so well for hiding pills in because dogs just can't help themselves. They have to have it. Hey, I'm Vanessa from Dogs Naturally and today I want to tell you why you should be careful giving your dog cheese. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. Here's the problem. Some cheeses can be unhealthy and others are downright dangerous for your dog. So here are some easy rules you can use to pick the right kind of cheese for your dog. First, let's talk about when cheese is never a good idea. A lot of dogs are lactose intolerant. That means their digestive systems can't break down the natural sugar in milk. To break down lactose, your dog needs a digestive enzyme called lactase, but not all dogs produce enough of this enzyme. And while raw milk is full of lactase, most manufacturers pasteurize their dairy products, which destroys the lactase. Now the good news is that cheese generally contains less lactose than milk, and aged cheeses like cheddar, parmesan, and Swiss cheese usually have the lowest amount. But that doesn't mean that these cheeses are okay for all dogs. Aged cheese still has the possibility to upset dogs with severe intolerance. When you give your dog cheese for the first time, it's important to start small and wait about 24 hours to see if your dog has a reaction. Just like in humans, symptoms of lactose intolerance include diarrhea, bloating, abdominal discomfort, gas, vomiting, and loss of appetite. If your dog shows signs of lactose intolerance, you'll want to avoid cheese and dairy altogether. There are two options that you could try. Cheese made with raw milk is the first one. Raw milk isn't pasteurized, so that means it still has all of its natural lactase. This should help your dog digest the cheese better. The other option is A2 milk. A2 milk contains proteins called casein. Most milk contains A1 or A2 casein. Regular milk has both caseins, but A2 milk only has A2 caseins, and these may be easier to digest. Studies suggest that people with intolerances may actually be sensitive to A1 proteins and not lactose. So if you think your dog is lactose intolerant, you may want to try an A2 cheese. So here are seven tips to choose the best cheese for your dog. The first rule is to watch the salt content. Hard aged cheeses are especially salty. This is because salt helps draw out the moisture and age the cheese. Avoid cheeses with a lot of salt, like processed cheese slices, string cheese, American cheese, Romano, blue cheese, Roquefort, and feta cheeses. Dogs do need salt to balance out fluids and maintain nerve function, but too much salt can lead to dehydration or salt poisoning. Large amounts of salt cause your dog's body to release water into his bloodstream. This helps dilute the salt levels and flush it out of his system. But if too much water gets redirected to his bloodstream, his brain cells won't get the water they need. And this can cause brain cell damage and lead to dizziness, headaches, seizures, coma, or in extreme cases, death. Second is to choose lower fat cheeses. Cheese can be high in fat and cause weight gain, obesity, and pancreatitis. Choosing cheeses that are already naturally lower in fat, like mozzarella, provolone, and parmesan, are better for your dog. Third on the list is to be careful of added ingredients. Many cheeses have ingredients in them for extra flavor. While some ingredients like cranberries, rosemary, and mango are safe for dogs, others are not. A common additive is glutamic acid, and this is dangerous for your dog. Glutamic acid is another name for monosodium glutamate, or MSG. MSG can alter your dog's brain response and may even trigger seizures. You should also avoid smoked cheeses. Smoking with heat can cause substances called PAHs or polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. PAHs can be carcinogenic. Most cheeses are cold smoked, but if you're unsure, it's best to find a different treat. Fourth up is to steer clear of processed cheeses. Cheese slices, spray cheese, and cheese spreads are highly processed and can have added ingredients like sodium phosphate. Sodium phosphate is in spray cheese. It stops the ingredients in spray cheese from separating. Studies have shown that it's absorbed differently than natural phosphate, so it can elevate your dog's phosphate levels and lead to health problems. Fifth on the list is to check the label for added color. When manufacturers want to change the look of their cheese, they add coloring and this includes artificial colors. Another common food coloring in cheese is annatto. This pigment is used to give cheese a golden color. The good news is that annatto is a natural dye and is generally safe. Number six on the list is to be aware of mycotoxins. 
Ripe, moldy cheeses like Roquefort, Stilton, and blue cheese are a definite no for dogs. These cheeses have high fat and salt contents, but they also contain mycotoxins. If your dog happens to eat ripe, moldy cheese, don't panic. Chances are he will be okay, but just keep an eye out for an adverse reaction. And finally, seventh on the list is to be sure to choose organic, pasture-raised dairy. Cheeses from pasture-raised cows, sheep, and goats have a healthier balance of omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, with less saturated fatty acids and more protein. So, can your dog have cheese? In a nutshell, yes. As long as your dog isn't lactose intolerant, watch the fat and salt content, you don't feed ripe, moldy cheeses, and you make sure any added ingredients are safe for your dog. But don't overdo it. Use it as a special training treat or a snack. If you found this video helpful, feel free to like and share it. For more helpful tips and tricks, visit www.dogsnaturallymagazine.com. Thanks for watching.